In this video we're going to have a look at the Black Dragon skill system. Let's roll a character. I'm going to choose an archetype which is going to set up some skills for me and also put some scores in order. Let's go with the first one, Abjura Wizard, and roll some dice. Okay, so instead of character classes like in say Dungeons and Dragons, in Black Banner and Black Dragon we just have skills. Skills get tested, skills allow you to do things. Skills are broken down into categories, for example, campaigning skills, deception skills, magic skills. And categories are broken down into subcategories. For example, in the campaigning category, we have the athletic subcategory. The athletic subcategory has got these different skills. Now, to improve our skills, we allocate skill slots. And for a zero, zero level character, we have 72 skill slots. Okay, so for a skill, there are different levels. We start off as unskilled. With one skill slot, we can improve that to novice. For two more skill slots, we can improve that to proficient. For three more skill slots, to skilled. For four more skill slots, to expert. For five more to master and for six more to champion so in total it takes one slot to get to novice three slots to get to proficient six to get to skilled and ten to get to expert there are rules around allocating skill slots the first rule is that no more than a quarter of the total skill slots can be allocated to any category so at zero level we've got 72 slots in total that means no more than 18 can be allocated to any category if you want to be a wizard you can still only put 18 to magic and you have to spend the rest in other categories the second rule is that no more than half can be allocated to restricted categories now the restricted categories are campaigning deception magic martial and right down the bottom deities that means at least half have to be allocated to the remainder miscellaneous vocational and languages the third rule is that at least one language has to be expert um, and being get to getting to expert takes 10 slots and the last rule is that individual individual skills have got dependencies for example armor use um, a light armor fighter doesn't have dependencies but a medium armor fighter can't be higher than a light armor fighter so we can't increase that and likewise a heavy armor fighter can't be higher than a medium armor fighter when your character levels up you get eight new skill slots to play with so let's do that let's claim a level and now we've got 80 slots instead of 72 and um, so let's save that and um, what we can do is we can run this skills planning report to give us some guidance on um, on how we want to spend these skill slots. So what the report does is it goes through category by category um, and it shows us our current skill level. So for swimmer we have got novice skill level. Uh, upgrading that will get it to proficient which takes two slots and this column tells us whether we're okay to do that right now or whether we're blocked. So let's look at, um, say, for example, magic spell levels. So first level, our current level is proficient. Upgrading will get us to skilled, taking three slots, and we're okay to do that. For second level spells, we're currently unskilled. Getting to novice will take one slot, and we're okay to do that too. But getting to third level spells, we're currently un unskilled. Getting to novice will take one slot. That requires proficient second level spells. We're currently unskilled in, in second level spells, so we're blocked from doing this. Um, what we'd have to do first is we'd have to get to second level, uh, we'd have to get to proficient in second level spells, and then, and then we'd be able to increase third level spells to novice. Okay, so that's, that's how Black Dragon skills work there are just a few more things to say you don't have to allocate all your skill slots you can save them up um, 
allocating skill slots never shuts down options for later. So skills are never, um, they're never mutually incompatible. Uh, okay, so now you know how skills work. In a later video, we'll look at choosing which skills depending on what type of character you want to play.